what is going on everybody and welcome back to another video here on youtube today we are going to be creating the best class setup in my opinion for operating in the war zone like always please like the video subscribe to the channel and follow me on twitter in the background i have some footage of me creating the class setup so feel free to watch that if you like otherwise we just gonna go ahead and get right into it let's start with the perks i like to run cold blooded in the perk one slot because everybody and their mother including myself will have thermal scopes when it comes to war zone so they will be able to see you running around if you aren't cold blooded when it comes to the perk two slot i tend to run either ghost or overkill i usually lean more towards overkill because it allows for you to have two primary weapons in the primary and the secondary slot so in a nutshell, I get to get rid of that punk ass pistol and carry something a lot more beefy. Another reason why I tend to run overkill over ghost is because it allows me to have a weapon in the primary slot to deal with close to mid range encounters and a secondary weapon that allows me to deal with long range encounters, i.e. a sniper rifle. Last but definitely not least in the perk three slot, I like to run tracker. I feel like Tracker is actually very slept on when it comes to Warzone. If you don't know what Tracker does, it basically allows you to see footprints of your enemies when you get close to them. I've gotten plenty of kills because of Tracker. Literally, the enemy will go somewhere, they'll run from me, they'll try to hide, I see those footprints, I jump on their trail, find them, track them, kill them, simple as that. Moving right along, when it comes to my primary weapon, I like to either run the M4 or the Kilo. These are the the best weapons in the game in my opinion when it comes to the attachments on my m4 and or kilo you better believe i'm gonna have a thermal scope on that bad boy i'm gonna have a suppressor on it and i'm definitely gonna have a clip with a minimum of 60 rounds in it you need at least 60 to start killing people efficiently when it comes to the other attachment slots associated with the weapon, honestly, I just put whatever I want in those. They don't make no difference to me. Now, moving on to my secondary that I now can have as a primary because of the overkill perk, I tend to run the sniper rifle. I tend to run either the AX-50 or the HDR in its own right. These two are the best sniper rifles in the game, obviously. Don't you even ever look at that punk ass dragon off. You will never get a kill in Warzone with that thing. I've gotten hit marker city with that thing several times in a row moving forward i just stand clear of that thing i don't even put it on for the lethal gear i like to carry the one the only the c4 sandwich it is definitely a must have you can take out vehicles with the c4 you can take out people with the c4 it does double duty for me the hardest part for me honestly is remembering that i have the c4 so that when i come up to encounters i can make it a lot easier to take them out by utilizing it but i tend to just shoot my gun off never Nevertheless, I always do carry it with me. When it comes to the tactical side, I run the heartbeat sensor. In my opinion, this is a crucial piece of gear that you must have to get a win in Warzone. A lot of people sleep on it because a lot of people don't know how to use it. However, I know how to use it and I know its value, hence why I never leave home without that bad boy. So basically what I'm saying is if I see you on my sensor and you're near me and you don't have cold blooded or anything on, go ahead and rent yourself a room in the gulag because your noob tastic ass will be there shortly. This is my setup when it comes to the war zone on the regular. I do change it up every now and again to try new things. But if I'm trying to go for a win, this is most likely going to be what it's going to look like for me going into it. I like it because it covers all the bases when it comes to enemy detection and encounters as I move throughout the match. You know, obviously, when we first get there, I got to use whatever I can. I got to go find weapons on the ground and move towards getting some money up so I can make it happen when it comes time to get my loadout. But once I get that loadout drop, you better believe I'm going to pick this class setup to go and try to get that W. I tend to stay away from the LMGs when I'm searching for weapons because they took a mean nerf when it comes to Warzone recently. So they tend to be sort of unreliable like literally hit or miss sometimes they're really good and sometimes they're really bad so i just tend to stay away from them entirely but late game i will definitely try to have my loadout but that's the setup 
That's how easy do it, baby. That's how we out there getting those wins. You see what I did there? Yeah, you seen what I did there. Yeah, it was my, eh, it might've been lame. I don't know. But nonetheless, thanks for watching everybody. Um, I appreciate you guys taking that time. If you can, leave me a nice comment, like, subscribe, all that wonderful good stuff, and I will see you on the next one.